Hey everyone, Technomentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to compare the new iPhone 16 Pro with the iPhone XR that was released six years ago in 2018. So let's get started. Now, everything you need to know between these devices, if you're thinking about upgrading from it, we're going to discuss in this video. So as you can see here, I have both of the phones on my hand here. As you see here, both of them look very similar, but they are, first of all, a different size phones here. The iPhone 16 Pro comes in a 6.3 inch display iPhone XR comes in a 6.1 inch display. Now even the display itself is very different. You have here, as you can see here, the OLED display versus your LCD display. Well, this is why the iPhone X originally came in at a cheaper price than that $999 starting price tag for the 16 Pro here. Now you also notice, of course, in the front here, you have the dynamic island on the 16 Pro versus the top notch and then bigger bezel across the board on the iPhone XR here. Now, just turning back to the sides and the body here, it's going to be different build and body here. The 10R here is built with aluminum and glass, as you can see here, versus titanium on the 16 Pro. You have one megapixel, 12 megapixel camera versus a triple, oh, and triple camera, two of them which are 48 megapixel camera. So again, huge upgrade in the camera space here. In terms of body, you can see where Apple started to go with the flatter bezel versus the rounder one in the past. You have the physical SIM card on the 10R. Unfortunately, in the US model, there is no longer a physical SIM card. But what comes now on the 16 Pro is this action button uh, that allows you to activate camera or open other apps just clicking a button which is not available on the iphone 10r here so here between these two phones you can see here a lot of uh, differences and then lastly when it comes to the actual charging port the 16 pro is now standard with the usb-c where the iphone 10r has that uh lightning port option here and then of course the 16 pro has a wireless charging 10r a dozen here when the wireless charging, you can actually charge up to 25 watt with a 30 watt adapter. So huge advantage over the iPhone XR here. Now along with other things, are the chipset in these phones are huge in terms of performance here. The iPhone XR here comes with the A12 Bionic chip with three gigs of RAM versus the iPhone 16 Pro has a massive upgrade with that A18 Bi uh, Pro chip with eight gigs of RAM, almost five gigs of RAM. This is why you're seeing up to 70% increase in performance, especially when it comes to graphic and gaming uh, as well. Now, other thing to talk about between these two phones are it's going to be the battery life here. The iPhone XR gives you about 27 hours of video playback time versus the XR only 16 hours, almost 11 hour difference in terms of the battery capability between these two devices. And then, of course, as we briefly mentioned, the camera upgrades are huge between the iPhone XR and the iPhone 16 Pro starting with your just simple stuff like photo here you're going to be able to do a lot more here you see here zoom is limited versus 5x the zoom here on the iPhone uh, 16 Pro things like portrait mode is available on the iPhone 10 are very, very limited versus all of these features that are available and then things like spatial mode is not available cinematic mode isn't available on the iphone 10 r and that's just because of the big difference in camera basically to summarize iphone 16 pro just has a bigger better and just a lot of improvement in the photography if you're looking for the photography phone here now the other thing we'll probably talk about is the software between this device which is going to be probably the biggest talking point so both of the phones actually can run ios 18 the iPhone 16 Pro comes with iOS 18, and you can see all of the features that are available, as we mentioned in all our other videos. The iPhone 10R is getting iOS 18, and that might be the last update, major update the iPhone 10R gets in terms of the major update. Now, some of the features are limited. For example, Apple Intelligent will not be available on the iPhone 10R. That we have things like call recording, cleanup tool, all the features that are making the iPhone 18 really worthwhile or not going to be available, but you can update to iOS 18. And that might be, again, the last final update. So all of the apps here work still fine. Your basic needs, calling, texting, browsing, all of them can be easily done on the iPhone XR. So if you're not really looking for all that extra jazz on a newer phone, the iPhone XR will still get you by. Now, other things under the cover that you might not know is that the iPhone XR comes with some cool satellite features such as the ability for crash detection um, that, of course, notifies emergency service. That doesn't need to be in satellite. But other satellite service, things like roadside assistance can be requested via satellite. Messaging can be 
also done whenever you don't have a Wi-Fi or cellular on your satellite and of course uh, just being able to connect to satellite gives you that extra boost especially if you're taking a place or in a place where you don't have cellular signal and then lastly 5G is not going to be available on the iPhone uh, 10 r there is no 5G MMM wave that's going to be another connectivity limitation on the iPhone 10 r that you have so in terms of is it worth upgrading from the iPhone 10 r to the iPhone 16 Pro speakly just speaking purely off all of those things as we mentioned the camera the display the battery life the software features that are available of course it is going to be worth upgrading if you're just looking to make that big upgrade that because it's a six-year-old phone and it's pretty much coming to the end of its life and you might consider it but again if you're a basic user don't want all of those extra features just want a simple phone where apps still run you can do still calling and texting you can still stick with the iphone 10r no doubt about that so that's our review of the iphone 10r versus iphone 16 pro i want to hear from you guys What's your thought between these devices? If you upgraded from one to another, uh, leave a share or comment in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So please consider hitting that like and subscribe button for more tips, tricks, reviews like this one. We'll see you guys next time.